Hi Scorpio, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general rain for the week of April 2nd, 2018. Thank you guys for stopping by. If you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, and subscribe and also retweet them. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to that below these videos. Also, the bonus video for the month going up on the channel's playlist under monthly is for cancer. So if you have a cancer connection, be sure to check that out as well. Scorpio, you're coming into a new emotional path this coming week, okay? It is a, a time that you get what you want, but what I'm looking at is you're, you're making decisions. It's kind of like you're at a standstill. You're not sure where you're being di directed or led to. What I see turning this around for a lot of you is going to be some unexpected company, and that actually comes off as being a good thing. But you guys, knowing your abilities, putting your foot down when you've had enough is enough. So, let's take a look. This is for Scorpio for your week of April 2nd, 2018. Scorpio, we start with the High Priestess, followed by the Ten of Pentacles, the King of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Ten of Wands, and the World. Let me break this down and pull three more cards. I usually don't throw out another Zodiac sign. For whatever reason, a lot of you at Cancer is going to resonate with you this week. Okay, starting with the High Priestess. This is where I'm talking about you're grounded. You're making decisions. You want to do things differently. You're knowing your abilities. You're taking authority. Um, you're implementing change in your life this week. Beside that, we have the Ten of Pentacles, financial blessings ahead. Uh, financially, you're strong, things coming through that you weren't expecting. And beside that, we have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is kind of the voice of reasoning, okay? This, is, uh, this could be your unexpected company that I was talking about. This is someone that's going to offer up some advice, and that advice seems to come in at the precise time for you. Moving forward, we have that Knight of Swords. And the Knight of Swords always indicate something that's going to come rushing in. And this is beautiful because the Ten of Wands is what is rushing in. And the Ten of Wands shows you're completing a cycle. You've overcome most of your obstacles. You are regaining your perspective and you are really pushing forward. And beside that, you have the world indicating just that. The world is your oyster. Like I said, this is definitely a week about getting what you want. Moving forward, we have the King of Swords, we have Major Arcana of Temperance, and we have the Ace of Swords. King of Swords, now this could represent a male or a female because this is a general reading, but this is someone with a sharp tongue, someone who may lash out at you, so I don't see a confrontation, just be warned of it. And then beside that, we have Temperance. Now, Temperance shows your balance hasn't been completely restored, but you're doing the right steps to restore that balance. Also, going back to what I said with that High Priestess, you guys are changing things up. You're trying something new this week. And next to that, we have the Ace of Swords, new beginnings in all areas. So you're closing out one cycle and commencing another one. So what you guys need to know this week, the High Priestess, the High Priestesses, those thoughts, those ideas, doing things differently. And then beside that, we have Temperance. Taking the right steps, knowing you're on the right path, that you're slowly restoring your balance. And of course, we have the world. Total and complete happiness. The world is your oyster. Like I said, this is a week about getting what you want. Thank you guys for watching. Please take the time to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye.